Uh, greetings, Leo, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. Hi, and I hope you're doing wonderfully well. And my name is Ingrid, and for you who have watched my channel before and know my content, I'm just letting you all know that I come from a background of uh, psychology. I have a PhD in clinical psychology and have worked for many years as a psychotherapist in private practice and also as a rehab specialist in residential uh, care. So I invite you to today to bring um, a mental health issue that is, uh, you've been challenged with in your past or something that's coming up right now that has to do with a question or concern or a challenge you're going through. And as we bring these questions here and you have a conscious awareness above um, the reading as it's going through that you can bring down to it, I really encourage that and that will help in the healing um, recovery process because we're all going through something here and we need this uh, support and help from each other. So let's jump right in and see what the angel oracles want uh, my Leo to know today. And thank you spirits for overseeing this for my Leos, sun, moon, rising. And Leo, you know I'm always so happy to see you and let's jump right in and see what it is that your angel oracle wants you to know. Well, transformation. Well, it's saying it's time, whatever this issue is you're going through, this challenge, this symptom, this mood, that you're in the process of transformation. And you're transforming um, because it's divine timing. This is the time now. You know, when we go into a therapy, maybe we've been in the pre-contemplative stage of, ah, I know I need help, but now it's saying there's divine timing for whatever this is uh, that you are moving into. So a beautiful divine timing for transformation for my Leo. And spirit guides, Holy Spirit, higher powers above us, below us, within us and without us. Thank you so much for overseeing this reading for Leos. Thank you so much. And let us know whatever it is that my Leo needs to know right now. And so it is. And this is what it is that is coming to you, Leo. Thank you so much, spirit guides. Leo, you're the high priestess. Whether you're... Um, a man or a woman, genders are fluid. And this is saying, this is the sacred uh, female wisdom, uh, the wisdom that comes from the unconscious, that is, um, comes from those deep waters of the dream time. And she's sacred. She sits on her throne and her gown is actually the ocean. And she sits and stands on the crescent moon, that new moon of where we make our intentions real and put those out there um, for you, Leo. And what is challenging or will help that is uh, this sense of depression, of sorrow, of grief. Is there something that you can't get over, Leo? Something in the realm of your heart, a broken relationship, a love affair that didn't work out, um, you might have had these some, it could be three things that have been very important in your life, but two cups were filled with red liquid. It could have been blood, bad blood, something that was um, not um, healing you, and you had to, that is lost, and that could be a good thing. So look at it and grieve um, over that. And there could have been some toxic poison in another cup. So this these cups of what you could have said were love or support or um, a relationship could have really in the long run been toxic, been poisonous, been bad blood for you. And so it's saying at times you have to grieve um, whatever this loss is. It can take a long time. The grief process is different for each of us. And at the foundation, there could have been lies and deceptions, betrayals, manipulation, people doing things to us, um, 
mentally, uh, to get the upper hand, uh, to get away with secrets and lies. And that could have caused you to have a lot of sadness. And it's just saying, pick up these other two cups now, Leo, turn around and go over that bridge and go home to that place that you feel is a self-fulfilling um, um, happy place. And go there instead of looking at what has been spilled. But that can be e uh, easier said than done when we have this deep uh, depression and this chronic guilt about something or chronic sadness and we can't get over it. And this could be somebody um, who has been tricking us and victimizing us at the very foundation out of our field of awareness. And what just happened is a lot of, of going through the war, having to be defensive, Leo, fighting, standing your ground. Uh, you've been wounded through life's battles, but you persevered. So that is uh, saying that you've got a lot of strength, you've got a lot of resilience, and that is a gift. <clears throat> and at the crown, what you're ready to download and to see is the page of wands. Well, there's more uh, fire energy. There's more wands saying you've got this passion. Uh, you're ready to, um, after some challenge and defensiveness and standing up and going through the battle, you're saying, okay, I've got this wand, this new energy, this new desire. I want to travel. I want to go out there, study, I learn something new, uh, just experience um, the world and learn from that experience. And um, that's what's happening right now is, yes, well, another uh, wand, well, Leo, this is you, you're the fire sign. It's saying you're um, established yourself at some level of authority and of um, wealth, perhaps, and of recognition with a, a business you've put out there or some creation you've done. Something you uh, desired has been very well received. And now you're holding the world in your hand saying, well, what's next? I want to take this out there. I want to see where uh, that goes, uh, what I can do with this uh, page of wands, where I can take this fiery energy. And the foundation of how you see yourself is this queen of swords, this feminine energy of sitting firmly above it all, a kind of a figure of aloofness where she uses her mind over her emotions, her thoughts over her feelings, and she uses um, her uh, the facts and figures over what she values, and she cuts to the truth and um, doesn't take any of that bullshit. She just knows what's right and wrong for her, and your environment is... Um, the five of <clears throat> swords, well, um, it's saying that your environment is one of a fighting. Uh, there are battles going on, mental clashing, a conflict in terms of um, where uh, this a queen can often, uh, even though she's cutting to the truth, can be um, um, use her words um, forcefully, be cutting, be sarcastic. And this is saying that in your environment, there is a lot of fighting and victimizing, or there might be this uh, polarity of uh, victim, victimizer. Um, you're the bad one, I'm the good one. You're the um, one that is, uh, <clears throat> you know, doing all this hurtful betraying and backstabbing. But it's just saying that it, whatever that fighting is in your environment, the people you're dealing with or your uh, situation that's influencing the question that you're bringing the high priestess, this higher wisdom um, from your unconscious to this question, it's saying there's a lot of uh, fighting. And watch out for that in your environment, especially because at the foundation, you've got this deception, uh, uh, sneakiness, um, treachery but anything uh, that we win at whether this card sometimes is considered uh, in the tarot a bright card uh, it's saying that strategies and being diplomatic can be important at times but when we're fighting and being allowing another person to victimize us uh, bully us that's not true that's not clear that's not right and so just to look at that because 
your hope and fear is uh, that you will be able to retreat from this battle, that you will have a truce, that you will be able to at least take time out from fighting and rest your mind and pray and receive information from the high priestess. See what these higher wisdoms are telling you about this grief, this sadness, this depression, this um, mourning, that you can't get over some loss. <clears throat> and here you're resting and healing, maybe from the battle. And at the advice is the Six of Cups saying um, that uh, what is coming here for you as the advice is to look back at the childhood. Uh, patterns. Look at your childhood programming. Um, did you maybe have um, a narcissistic parents that really um, abused you psychologically in the sense of uh, keeping you uh, feeling less than and entrapped in their uh, dramas or their sense of entitlement um, or their needing to feed off of you uh, some something from the chi childhood? Uh, but it also could be something about going home, feeling at home, or feeling um, something nostalgic about the past or something someone might be coming in because this is um, at the advice coming in now from your past to review uh, the situation you're in. Wow, this is intense. Uh, yes, this is intense for my Leo. But let's get some clarity quickly and then uh, wrap this up. So uh, what is it, spirit guides, and your higher mind, your higher powers, uh, that um, deep intuition within your own mind and your ability to use your instincts? What does it need to know about the high priest? Well, the high priestess is bringing you the sun to shine clarity on these deeper wisdoms so you can enjoy uh, happiness and success. And the grief is um, challenged by this spring. Something is coming in the next two weeks um, at the spring uh, equinox. You're going to see whatever these seeds are, are going to, under the light of the sun, start to grow and flower. And this lies and sneakiness and treachery and betrayal is saying, uh, use your dreams and journey deeply into this. See the truth of it. And you've been standing your ground, persevering, because you were following uh, the voice of your inner soul, the stargazer. And the page of wands wants you to know as uh, you go out, take this passion out into the world, that you can drop your shield. Yes, well, this um, wounded warrior in the a nine of uh, Pentacle, I mean, excuse me, the Nine of Wands is saying, yes, now it's the time you've persevered, but you don't have to be as defensive. Drop your sword, your shield. <clears throat> and you're moving um, out with uh, something new on the horizon, taking this passion out there into the world because you're setting your sights higher. Yes, you're going out with the seer, stargazer. And the Queen of Swords wants you to know um, how you see the situation is autumn. Release the old and rest. Well, in the autumn, something is coming, but you will need to release and rest. And that's what the Queen is showing you in truth and accuracy. And this fighting in your environment is saying, Spirit Fox, trust your, your talents in changing times. Well, yes, well, something's foxy. You've got this uh, um, deceptiveness and trickery. Well, the fox is um, cunning, but that will help you. If you trust your talents, Leo, you can move through these changing times as this fighting um, in your environment is coming to an end. And you're resting as your hope and fear and renewing because you've got the stag a trust and then begin to thrive as you heal, whatever this is. And the hope and fear is allowing you to thrive and bring something from your childhood back to life and to use that innocence and sense of home 
And um, that is where your advice is now because mountains stand your ground. Whatever it is about that home, that past, your childhood, stand your ground and be willing to really look at that and stand up and find that strength um, as you are, are using this divine timing to move toward transformation. And a powerful reading for you, Leo. And that's what I have for you. And so if this resonated, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and let me know how is this uh, story unfolding and how are you dealing with um, this mental health conflict or challenge, but you're moving toward um, standing your ground and something about um, the past, about childhood, you're standing up for yourself. And so, you know, I love you, Leo, and um, we're in this interconnected field together as we do these readings and learning and growing. And there was a, a confirmation. So see you next time. Bye-bye.